Hello out there and welcome to English Teacher Plays. We're here with Search of Galaxy, which is a new game. It's on Steam and we're going to play it. So welcome to the game Search of Galaxy. You will have to extract resources, build base modules, develop your own ship, and maybe build new ships. Explore neighboring territories for survivors. Search for lost knowledge. Work on the game is still ongoing, and therefore only a small part of it is now available, but free updates are planned in the future. Game mechanics will be finalized, a storyline added, additional dialogues and quests are prescribed, and many more interesting things. Perhaps in the future there will be zeroing of the world and changes in mechanics since we are still in search of the optimal option and are ready to listen to the opinion of users. <sighs> sure. To control the, the ship, use the keys. So it's WAS, space is up, control is down, Q is to scan, E is laser launch. Not sure how you launch a laser. It's kind of either on or not on, right? It's either on or not on. Um, turning on the radar. We wish you a pleasant game. So, uh, Prologue, and then Testing Miner, and we are. So we are here. We are in the the. We're just past the Prologue, I guess, and we're gonna go into Testing Miner. Here we go. We've got some sound. Not much sound. I like the ship. Kind of looks like... I don't know. It's very... It looks very sturdy. Is what I'll say. Oh, there's a weird squid thing. I'm so excited. We have built the first mining ship and now we can test it. Let's try to move this ship from its place. To do this, pull the lever forward. Okay, I'm pressing W. I guess we, we have no control of the view, so we don't know if we're about to crash into something. But that's okay. We are wazding. Excellent. Oh, it's... Oh, that was... That was very Mass Effect-y. Dun, 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 dun. Hooray! We didn't explode. All systems work as they should. Let's check the next. Let's check the shunting engine now. To do this, turn left and right by moving the corresponding lever. Yep. Oh, there we go. There's our. Cool. So we can we can control the view. Oh, great Kraken! We can really turn, and we still haven't exploded. Looks like luck is on your side. All systems are normal. The ship has not fallen apart, which means that we can move on. Oh, destination. I see that there's some kind of space object, similar to an asteroid located not far from us. Let's fly up to him at the same time, see what, and at the same time, see what it is. All right. I mean, it's not very far away. I feel like if our sensors can't tell what that is, we, I guess sensors aren't a thing. We have to see it out the window. All right, do we, d oh yeah, it's um, it's water rules for space. It's just, as soon as you take your foot off the gas, you stop moving forward. That's fine, doesn't have to be, doesn't have to be super realistic or anything. Yeah, that ding, 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 ding is definitely Mass Effect, man. I'm just gonna turn it down a little bit because I'm, I'm feeling like it might be a little bit loud in the ear balls. Yes, it really is an asteroid. It's dangerous to fly closer. However, we can scan it and get the first data. We have a scanner on the ship. Point the nose of the ship towards the asteroid and hold down this button. Hold on until we can scan the data. All right. We're scanning the asteroid. Nice. Hurtful. There is no ore in it at all. You see, the percentage indicator is low, which means that the coefficient of metal-containing elements is not sufficient to... Oh, sorry, I got carried away. Simply put, the higher the percentage, the better. It seems to be simple. We have radar on the ship. In theory, it will help find special objects near us. And activate... Click that button over there. I see several, several filed objects on the panel. Home, new thermia... And a bunch of other stuff. Sure. Before I fly to them, let me show you something else important. That lever over there raises and lowers the ship. This will come in handy for you. Try. Ooh. 
Okay. And now the other direction. Sure. So we've got a we've got a solid tutorial going on. That's good. Be good if there were some like game noise, I guess. But that's okay. Um, and now they flew to look for stones with ore. Uh, okay. Let's go fly and look for some. S oh, we took some damage. Haha. <laughs> That's cool. We, there was some there was some noise there. I wish the engines made a little bit of noise. I do like the music. But, um, I w yeah, I do wish the engines made a little bit of noise. Alright. So we're flying towards this asteroid. It was Q to scan them, I think. Are we close enough to it? Is that... Oh, yeah. There are so many of them around. It turns out I have an idea. We have radar on the ship. In theory, it will help to find special objects. All right. We, so we did that. I did that. What? This is the one that we were already at. Why? Why did it teleport me back? That is really frustrating. Okay, that is really... We already did that. Oh my god. We've already been to this stupid asteroid. Urgh. Why did it jump me back? I was It was like, fly to another asteroid. Oh, I've got an idea. Let's teleport you back to where you already were. Seems bad, man. It seems bad. That's fine. So far, oh, we can zoom out. That's cool. And we can zoom. How close can we zoom? Oh, we can zoom right in. But then we, like, literally can't see where we're going. All right, I have... Oh, my God. Okay, so that was too close. So there is noise if you get close enough to the ship. But then you then you can't see where you're going. Because you can't, can't actually go inside the ship. Oh, there you go. There is a port there. But there doesn't seem to be anything inside the ship. So there's no, there's no good reason to be out there. All right. There we go. So let's scan this thing. Because that's what we came over here for. Dun, 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 Nailed it. Okay, how do we... How do we use... How did we use the lasers? I... I don't... I don't remember. The... F, E, no. Hold on. Info. E is laser launch. Right. Okay, so that's not... So we can't... So we can't mine anything for some reason. Oh, oh, oh. We learned our lesson last time. Alright, let's just go look at one of these random strange objects. Because... We already went there. I don't... Okay, so I think we I think we broke the game. You know what? I'm gonna... I'll go back to the destination and... I don't know. Try and make the tutorial happen again. And I'll fast forward. This is really frustrating. So we've glitched out at the first, the first pass. Um, I was kind of enjoying myself. All right, fast forward time. <laughs> Okay, so I restarted the game, hoping that we would, uh, oh my god, hoping that we would be able to fix the problem, but, um, the ship spawned like that. <laughs> let's try, let's try it again. Nope, it, it doesn't, it doesn't want to do that, okay? I'm going to exit out, and we'll start, we'll start again. I don't, I don't know what's supposed to be happening, but whatever it is, it's not happening. Um, yeah, we are very deep into some alpha gameplay. Um, this game has not been tested at all, um, because if it had, we definitely wouldn't be running into these problems right here. Great. Okay. Okay. Why are we, why are we out here now? I don't, I really don't understand. I, so I restarted the whole game. Oh my god. 
we'll just we're just gonna try it we're just, it jumped us way ahead find an asteroid with ore all right so let's scan this one right no it doesn't like that and we got to be careful not to hit it on the way past all right, I won't hit it this time I hit it, I did hit it last time we are not gonna hit it this time <laughs> So now the, uh, we're trying to mine this big asteroid, and I know that it's uh, the wrong number or whatever, I just, I just don't care. Um, the gameplay is incredibly boring and tedious. Um, I kind of like the way the laser looks, but now the laser turns off halfway through of its own volition, and there's no explanation for that. Oh, of course, now that I'm talking about it, it stays on. Right. So, yeah, a couple of those, see it just did it, it just turned off at 96. I should be able to hold it down, right? And hold it to 100, but... Whatever. Oh, we're taking some damage. We did... We, we took some more damage. We're down to 34 health. Because we took some damage from our first mining operation. Not my fault. I didn't... You know, I went to where they told me to go, and then I got damaged. So, I blame the game. And I think that's fair enough. Because so far, the game is pretty boring. There's just not a lot going on. Um, it looks nice, and kind of, it feels okay. The ship handles like a pile of mud, um, which would be okay if there was actually anything interesting to do, but there's just not, so, I don't know. I don't know, guys. The game needs a whole lot more work before I could say yes or no to it. We're just waiting for this container full of ore to come in so that we can... So we've got a container full of ore, right? That's a... That's our... That's a full container. A hundred? Is a hundred a full, full container? Is that... Are we done now? Or is there still more to get? I don't... I don't, I don't understand. Right. I received a notification that we have completely filled the containers. Great job. Now we can go home. Right, so now all the things that we just mined are going to hit the side of the ship and destroy it. Great. Love how the story interrupts us and makes that happen. That's, uh, that's fantastic. So we're going to fly home. It's going to take us a while, but I'll fast forward so that you guys don't have to sit through the interminable boringness of the game. <laughs>
So now the ship goes really fast. That seems really stupid. I'm very annoyed. I just... I'm not... I'm really, really annoyed that they hold that out of the tutorial. It just seems really, really dumb. I'm like... The tutorial's supposed to be fun, yeah? This tutorial's supposed to make us, like, interested in playing the game. Not like... Interminably, bo interminably bored. That's that's what I have to say about what I've played so far. It was incredibly boring. So these are just more freaking asteroids to mine. And I'm not interested. I'm really, really not interested. I just do not care about these asteroids. I cannot, I cannot stress how much that scanning and drilling asteroids, how boring that is to me now that... Great. Love it. So then we drill it, right? And then we get the stuff and then we take it back. And that's the game. But hopefully we don't die from getting hit by rocks that we've summoned. Let's just hope. Yeah. Yeah, we did take some damage there. Makes sense, I suppose. Right. Um, I think I've seen enough. I mean, this does look like a penis, right? Yeah. Anyways, let's go. Uh, let's go look at the description. All right. Search of galaxy after the supernova explosion. The Thermian race was destroyed. All knowledge, technology, and data about the past were lost. You must restore civilization and explore the territories of your home system in search of lost technologies and artifacts. Developed by Dragonoid and uh, published today. Let's see, it's in early access, sure. We need to test and debug game processes such as balance, game mechanics, and interface. Get feedback from the audience. Presumably six to ten months with periodic updates. <sighs> so the game mechanics will be improved. The storyline will be added. Additional dialogues and quests will be finalized and prescribed. More functionality will be crafted. In this version, it will be available basic game mechanics, camera control, and object positioning, which will allow you to conduct tactical mode. A minor ship, a frigate class, which participates in the plot as the main object of development. It will be assigned one of the main roles, resource extraction, search for, search for space objects of various types, space exploration, and other assistance in the development of colonies. Full control of the ship, mining and collection of resources, part of the missions, and storyline. That is a very, very liberal view of what we've just experienced. There is a very... The, the tutorial... Look, the tutorial is... The tutorial is fine, and I like the way it's delivered. What I don't like is being given... Like, why not give us control of the afterburners way earlier? Like, way earlier! Making us fly out that slowly is just wasting everybody's time and energy and life, and it just felt terrible. Um, so what is here is about what should be a five minute tutorial, and that's it. That's what's here, that's what is available right now for $12.39. Um, so this is, this is not beta, this is not beta testing, this is alpha, this is a very, very very basic alpha game so we haven't gotten to any of these screenshots nope so apparently there's some jumping through warp or something so we didn't get to any of that you know there was no there didn't seem to be any reason to keep mining because it you know it jumped back to the screen that was like this is the spot that you're at where it's testing miners I don't I don't know what that means we tested some miners. We did that. But that's about it. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's in very early alpha. It's not ready to be on the Steam storefront. It needs to be... That 6 to 10 months need to be spent adding content. There needs to be actually something here that people will want to play. And then you could put it on Steam. What it is right now, I, d like, I like the scale of everything... I kind of liked the uh, the mining laser. That was pretty fun. I like the design of the ship. 
even though it does look like a penis. Um, I just... I don't know. It's very, very, very early alpha. And that that is not the place to be putting... That's not the time to be putting things on Steam. The time to be putting things on Steam is when they're like a fully playable, ready-to-play game. This is not a fully playable, ready-to-play game. This is five minute. This is a five-minute tutorial level with no game attached. It's a five-minute tutorial level for a game that doesn't exist. That's frustrating. That's very frustrating. So I'm frustrated. And I guess I'm going to leave it because, yeah, I, th I think we're done with Search of Galaxy. I think we're going to leave it. So thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Leave me a comment down below if you do want to check out the game. Uh, you can find the link in the description. But as you saw, it is pretty threadbare and bug addled, even with just a little bit of content that's there. So I will see you guys next time. Class dismissed.